Hey guys, for this video, I want to show you this Mile C thermal imaging camera, thermal monocular. They were nice enough to send me this for free so I can make a video showing it to you. If you've never had one of these, they are so cool. Lots of different uses for them. I want to show you what's in the box, some of the features, but mostly I want to show you this thing in action because that's the fun part of it all. So taking a look at the physical camera itself, it has a USB-C on the end here, so you plug it directly into your phone. Uh, we do have a cord that it comes with. I'm going to show you in one second if you don't want to plug it directly into your phone. Obviously USB-C, got to have that. It's for Android devices. You have to have an Android device. You need their app. It's the MileC Thermal Eyes app. In addition, it comes with a case. See, we have the little foam layout for the other accessories I'm going to show you here in a second. Also comes with the little uh, elastic you got here. And that's a full zip case. Nice hard shell to keep everything protected. Now, it does come with this double-ended USB-C. You can see it's male on one side and female on the other. Audi Innie, Audi Innie. You know how it works. So we have that cord that can plug into the camera and to your phone and then we get this guy here which is actually really cool so you mount the camera in this so if we can just put the camera right in here it's a little screw wheel guy and then we just kinda thumb wheel it down so that can hold the camera and then we have an adjustment here where we can adjust the angle where the camera is pointed and then this guy let me get this screwed back in this portion holds our phone that is spring loaded so when we're using our cable we'll connect the cable there go into our phone this is holding our phone and then we can hold the whole thing like this we do have a tripod mount at the bottom you see that's my tripod mount I already have on it so that's what it looks like when you get it does have the tripod mount on the bottom obviously this is a tripod mount as well now what's really cool about this is when you have it plugged in let's just release this guy when you have it plugged into your phone you're stuck at the pitch of your phone, which always isn't the most convenient looking angle, you know, to wherever you're going. But when you have it screwed into this guy here, so it's sitting here, you can have your phone at a more comfortable angle like this, and then have this guy screwed up or down to give you a better angle so you can see clearly on your phone and also have the, ca the camera aimed somewhere that, that actually is helpful for you. So I actually kind of like this, and this is obviously easier to grab than uh, just holding your phone. Next up, I want to get this thing all plugged in, ready to go, and I want to show you the app. Have the app all pulled up. You can see we're just looking at a candle. You can see how far away the candle actually is. Because this is a monocular, obviously we're zoomed in quite a bit, and you can do the whole pinch to zoom thing if you wanted to get in even closer, but that's as far back as we can go. I want to show you some of the different features here. Over on the left, we have the gear icon, which will do GPS you can turn on, and also a compass. If we need to flip the screen, depending how we have our camera orientated, and then we can adjust the brightness and the contrast on it. Now over to the right, there's a few different like color palettes you can do. We'll get to that last. And then we can also track with the plus and minus the hottest spot in our field of view. If you can see that there. We can also do our coldest spot. You can see at the bottom of the candle, which makes sense. And it'll continuously update where our hot and cold spots are. We can take a picture. We can record a video. You can see right down here, there's a little timer. Hard to see here because we're red on red, but we are recording the video there. I'm also going to show you some more videos directly from the app. I thought the candle was kind of a cool thing to to look at on here. Here's the base one, the one that we're at now. We can do a grayscale, kind of black and white guy. You can do the same thing, but a negative. That looks pretty awesome. I kind of like that. And then that guy there. Now this is a clip taken right off the video recording from the thermal imaging camera and I'm just looking at a wall at my house you can see the windows obviously cold there and then hot spots and it even works as a stud finder you can see exactly where the studs are the seam from the wall and the the ceiling having a cold spot there so kind of an extra cool use for it, it doesn't record audio that's why I'm doing a voiceover for this portion you'll notice sometimes it kind of 
uh, lags a bit where the screen will stop. I have another thermal imaging camera that does the same thing, so I don't know how prevalent that is, but uh, it does seem to do it every once in a while. I get a little hung up. There's a little scooter! Look at a little scooter! Well, he looks good, thermal imaged. It's a good looking dog right there. <laughs> so, one of the many uses. Now this one was really cool. I wasn't expecting it to look like this at all. If you can't tell, this is just a stove, regular stove. And you know, in person it, with your your eyes, it doesn't look like this at all. It doesn't, it's not a huge flame shooting up, but with the thermal camera, this looks like a bonfire, like I'm about to burn my kitchen down. But no, this was a totally normal stove burner. I just thought that looked incredibly neat. Wanted to share it with you guys. Look at that. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just a child that likes to play with new toys. So here, I just filled up a sink with water and then was switching between adding cold water to it or adding hot water. So you can see the sink on now with cold water, switching it over to the hot water. And then as it goes into the pool down below, it kind of does this cool little transformation of from hot to cold or cold to hot. You can see the swirls and how the, the water... I don't know, moves around in there. I just thought it was kind of neat to look at. Almost looks like lava. All right, back to a more practical use, but that was fun. Finally, making it outside to do a little test for you. Here we're at the back corner of my yard facing the road, and I'm also going to throw up a clip here in one second so you can see under a normal camera what this exact same view looks like. Obviously, with the monocular lens on the thermal imager, we're zoomed in a little bit more, but it's from the exact same position. Oh, there's a little scooter. Hey, little scooty. That's yeah, a good dog right there. Good little guy. So... The listing says something, well, I don't know who that fool is though. The listing says something about, uh, you can see a six, six foot tall object 680 yards away. Now I can't do all that for you, but I can do a five foot tall object about 100 yards away. It actually might be just a little bit more than 100 yards, but close enough uh, for our little test. As we get farther away, further away, farther away, as we are not as close to the camera, you'll notice that Although you can tell that I am there, you can see Scooter there, it becomes more difficult to really make out what you're looking at. It just looks kind of like a, a blob. Now, I would bet at nighttime or even just further away, this is a lot easier to see because you're seeing that hot spot right away. And this is going to look the same daylight, nighttime, because it's not that kind of light that this camera is relying on. It's heat. There we go. We made it all the way to the end. So that's at least 100 yards, maybe a little bit more, but... You still see Scooter running down the road trying to get away from me. Can't blame him there. Well, usually it's the females that do that, not the males. Eh, maybe both. <laughs> but you can clearly see both of us way down there. So there it is, guys. The Mile C Thermal Imaging Camera. Thanks for watching.